The last day of school came with the Grandview first. The student body celebrated the girls winning a state championship the fourth in a row for the boys. However, the expectations were not that different. When well, we walked in uh, on Thursday for practice at the meet, I mean, you hear, hear there's Grandview, there's Grandview. We're going to beat them, we're going to beat them. And that just, that's just motivation for great athletes. And, and so I think we kind of thrive on it. You hear, you hear everything from good luck to I hope you don't win. And it's a, it, they're blunt about it, but you know, you just have to stay focused and go out there and focus on the big picture, which is winning the state title. It is a high pressure situation for girls that are 16, 17 years old. And um, we talked a lot about it. We, we talked about that. You remember we're in, for, we're in athletics for fun. I had to let the pressure go and run my races, have fun, and continue to do what I know how to do. And that's what I did. And that's how I got first and third and second. The Bulldog boys needed to take at least second place in the final event to win. It seemed unlikely after Harvey Kendall collapsed at the end of the 300 hurdles. All he did was high jump a personal record six foot ten. Well, I limped off the track with a busted knee. Uh, it already started swelling up. The coaches wanted to say, hey, we, we need to do something real quick. So I said, no, just get me up. Let's take my knee and get me to the high jump. When he was on the ground, it looked like it was, it was worse than what it actually was. When I talked to him, he said, don't worry about it. I'm fine, uh, which Matt, he probably was going to be fine. Uh, he, he's one of the most competitive kids I've ever been around. So to have it come down to him, I knew we were in good shape. There's no guarantee this was going to happen for the girls at Grandview. And Janellas had a hamstring issue right before conference, but was able to come on strong late in the season, and it did happen. We laid off a little bit, uh, let her recover, uh, made sure she was stretching, she was getting the best care that she could get. Anytime you get an injury, you're always worried, but um, I know we had our good coaching staff and they were always going to try to get me healthy. Winning State comes with medals, plaques, and trophies that document greatness and never leave, long after the seniors do. The trophies last, you know what I'm saying, bragging rights can last, but they don't last as long as your trophies, your trophies are your proof. Y'all talked about this freshman year and said, hey, I'm going to leave behind a legacy and now it, 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 I left one. It's just really great that they are scholars. They uh, just do a fantastic job out on the track. Um, and knowing that these girls are successful this year is just a really fun year. This is what we've been talking about like since the season started. This is what we wanted. So it was great to actually be able to accomplish that goal. From Grandview High School, I'm Dave Stewart, Time Warner Cable Sports Channel.